everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I decided to do a video showing all of my adult coloring supplies and I'm kind of deciding to do this video simply because I had done one in the past but I have deleted that from my channel simply because it was a bunch of <laughs> child online protection stuff that was going on with YouTube and I was playing the safe game and deleted all of my older videos so this will just be me filming all of my adult coloring supplies again and I have acquired quite a couple of few things um, since I did that video which was last year sometime I believe like in 2019, I had filmed it around my colorversary, <laughs> quote unquote. But yeah, enough of my gabbing, and we shall begin. So, because I'm a mostly pencil colorist, I'm going to start with my pencils that I have. And so, I do have a 150 set of Prismacolor. And excuse my clip, <laughs> it's just all here just to hold pages down. Um, yes, yeah, so I have this case and I have my 150 set of Prismacolor in here. This is where they live their happiest life. And I do have some clips in here. They're dirty because <laughs> they are new, but what's so funny is the pencil dust gets everywhere and they kind of got dirty. But yeah, that's just to hold my pages down. And yeah, my, my 150 set lives in here. And then these are some of my shortest pencils. Like, look at my baby pencil, y'all. This is chocolate. <laughs> So here are my pencil extenders, which are the bomb.com. They work better than the ones that I ever, ever, ever bought the first pair. Well, the first couple, they were terrible. And so here are my pencil sharpeners. I had a Prismacolor pencil sharpener, but I hated that and gave it to my mom. So the m &R sharpener is my favorite pencil sharpener. And I ordered this on Amazon like I do most things in my life. <laughs> and here is my, whoops. Here is my electric sharpener, and I had a Derwent one, but I dropped it on my hardwood floor from quite a distance, and it broke. And so I discovered this one on Amazon, and it works really well, and you can make the eraser tinier. It has a really tiny one that you can replace other than this one. So that one serves me really well. Like, look at my Tuscan Red. It's so tiny. Like, look at this black that I have. It's so tiny. I have some of the tiniest pencils that you will ever see. I don't know why um, I do not get rid of them, but I have a plan for them. So also in here, I have a blender pencil. This is my white. That's really tiny. <laughs> and I have some Jelly Roll white gel pens in here, which are essential for coloring in my opinion and I have two different sizes in here and then this is a sharpie fine point pen that I use to do eyelashes and really fine black lines if I need to and my Poscas are usually in here a couple but I took them out because they'll be in a different part of me showing my supplies and then here in this pencil case lives my polychromos and I do have the full set of polychromos and these were so generously gifted to me by a subscriber and she knows who she is and I'm forever grateful because I always did want some I bought some singles to try them out and I ended up liking them and um, they were on my wish list and she bought them for me and I can never say enough thank yous <laughs> to suffice so I'm very grateful to have these I do have some Arteza pencils. This is the 72 set and these were provided to me by Arteza for a review and the review video used to be on my um, channel but it's gone now but yeah I do own this set as well. They do have a bigger set now but this is fine because I have plenty of pencils I feel like um, so I don't think I'm missing out on anything. Okay, so here lives my Black Widow sets in this roll-up case, which I really love. It's so adorable with the deer. I love deer. They're like one of my favorite animals for some reason. And I have all the sets of Black Widows. So here is the light set, the dark set for the skin. These are my Cobras, my Black Widows, and my Scorpions. And they live their best life here in this case. 
and it's room for me to put extra pencils a couple and whatever else goes in here I don't really use that <laughs> but yeah they live in this roll-up case and I really like these roll-up cases I like the hard case too but these roll-up cases are really handy and you can travel with them and they're really cool okay so in this case which is one of my favorite cases because I love stars and space and celestial stuff so in this case I have my Derwin ink tints now I do um I did own the 36 set but I have recently purchased some individual colors and they have the barcodes on them and I mostly just wanted the blues and the greens and the browns that I was missing I feel like you know I wasn't missing too much on the red spectrum so yeah I'm really happy I don't have the whole 72 set I think I'm missing like 13 but because I can buy them individually I think that's a really good um, way for me to St uh, keep get the colors that I would like I don't know why I stutter so badly um, it's a good way for me to get the colors that I like and then I don't have to worry about ones that I would more or less not use and this case is a roll up case as well and here we go for that one and those are all of my pencils and I'll move on to sharing what I have next oh before I move on to all of my pencils I will show y'all my jars that I have on my desk so these are actually glass jars that will have candles in it but once I used my candles I really like these jars so I just melted the remaining wax out of them and cleaned them and they house all of my extra Prismacolor and there are some a couple of ink tints in here because I actually ordered doubles of some when I thought I didn't have it um by trying to fill in the colors that I wanted so I actually separated these I don't know why this tiny one I should replace this is yellow orange I should replace it with another one like these anyway um yeah I separate them by warm colors and then I have my cool colors pretty much the same jar and I like um, things to be uniform so <laughs> that's why they're pretty much the same so I do have why did I not replace these little ones with the ones that I have I have no clue but here's a ruler <laughs> but yeah this is on my desk and these are just my extra prisma colors and my cool and warm colors that I have going on here and so now I will move on to <laughs> what I would like to show next so next I have all of my paint brushes and this brush I use to splatter because it's so bad and <laughs> it's kind of fray and it works to splatter so that's what I use it for but these are my most used brushes that's why they're out and um, they usually live in here but because I use these most frequently I have them in this little container that sits on my desk and it holds my water brushes and my brushes and so this is the other part to my eraser where you can put the tiny eraser inside actually here it is right here so here's the little tiny eraser and you actually put it in here if I can do it properly <laughs> and it's to make the tiny erasers <laughs> out of the picture I just made that word up and this is a crochet thing I don't even know why that's in there but I have like these cute little dog paper clips to hold my pages um I couldn't say no to these because I love dogs and then more clips just to hold my pages my little black pencil that I showed and then these are my water brushes and they are various sizes and I really like these because they don't leak the first ones that I ever bought leaked um from the barrel and instead of the brush and I got rid of those because they were horrible once I bought these but they were really cheap and I guess you get what you pay for in that instance not always but just in that instance it was terrible so I will move on to the next thing okay so now I have some sticky tabs and I originally purchased these to mark my pages like write the date I completed it and then mark them or just as a page holder these as well but what ended up happening was I started to do that and then I don't even do it anymore because I feel bad wasting paper and I feel like these are a waste of paper because once I mark my page I don't need it anymore so yeah I just have these now I don't use them um I have a wink of Stella and I am not impressed I just used this recently last month on a picture and yeah I just was not impressed at all because it was runny um 
and I guess that's how they're supposed to be I don't know but it does add a nice shimmer but I'm just not you know completely sold on using this all the time I prefer to use stickles but I think this is good if you can't use stickles that way you don't leave a texture on your page and you can still get a shimmery payoff it's, it's not glittery it's shimmery in my opinion anyway and so these are my replacement blades for my m &R sharpener but I have not had to change a blade yet and if I do I will probably not do it myself I'll get my mom or someone to do it because me and sharp objects just do not agree even at my age <laughs> as an adult it just I'm very clumsy here are some more erasers and I really like the ones that I can use to rub out manually sometimes because I need to do that and then these came in an art set that my aunt got me um, like a couple years ago now and these are the rest of my pencil extenders as you can see some were in use but these are the rest of them um, and I really like these and I hesitated on buying them because I thought me holding this would be very uncomfortable but it's actually not so I'm really glad that that worked out okay so I have all of my white and black Poscas I really like the it says 07mm, but then it also says 1m. I'm not really sure, but it's the fine point one, and I really like using this because this is the one that I use to do my white hair. This is the thicker one. This is the 3m, and it's a little thicker nib versus these other ones. And here I have black. I have a finer point one and a thicker nib one. And I actually have more Poscas that I did not grab. Give me one second. Here are my other Poscas. The black one actually goes in here. But these are some basic colors. I haven't really used these very much. I've used the blue one. But these are the 3M. They're the thicker nib as well. And I haven't really used these that often. But um, my boyfriend actually got these for me. <laughs> because I saw them and I instantly grabbed them. I was like, ooh. I don't have any color Poscas because I only use basically white and black so I decided to grab these okay here in this pencil case I have more clips obviously <laughs> and I have my sharpie pens and I did not even know that I owned this many sharpie pens this was a surprise to me and I want to know if all of these work I'm not even sure they're pretty much essentially all the same thing they're fine point but they look different so I'm not really sure like what really the difference is don't know but I have them and here's a pen and another binder clip I don't know why I have this huge one it's ridiculous and my crappy pencil extenders live in here here's a Tuscan red <laughs> that I have I have pencils just lying around everywhere I think that's the story of our lives right everyone who colors these are a black and red marker that came in the art set that my aunt got me one year. I think this is a blender pencil. Like, I just have stuff everywhere. Here are all of my fine liners, and I got these from Five Below, and they are amazing simply because it's such a range of colors. Like, look how many different greens you get. It's awesome. And then, oops, I dropped one. And then all of my tiny pencils live in here. <laughs> And I do have like quite a few tiny pencils. Look at how many whites I have. My black actually needs to join the party. The one that I had in here. So, you know, I do have quite a few tiny pencils. Even ones that are on their way to being tiny. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of them. <laughs> These are some of my whites that I had when I originally got the Prisma color because I did start out with a smaller set. I started out with a 24 set of Prismas, then I got the 72, and then I just went ahead and got the 150 set. So I do have like triples of or quadruples of some colors just because that's the way that I purchased everything along with me ordering singles because I never want to run out because Prisma colors are my absolute favorite pencil in the whole wide world. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says about them. Okay, so this was gifted to me by a lovely subscriber, and it's just basically sticky notes, and you can mark pages with them, and um, this as well, I guess, take notes. So this is so cute, and I really don't want to use it. My nephew did this. He ripped one off. <laughs> I let him play with it, but yeah, I really don't want to use it because y'all know I love Alice in Wonderland, and then this is the most adorable thing, so I'm always grateful that I have this. And then I also have this little notepad here. I don't really use it, but I did write some video suggestions down, um, some video ideas 
that you all threw at me so I was like let me write them down and then I have some more white Poscas because I never want to run out and jelly roll white pen a pencil this one is an art and fly gel pen and then I have my Uniball Signo gel pens so I never ever want to run out of my supply of white pens and white Poscas as you can see I am very well stopped and I continue to do so because I don't want to feel bereft of them I love them so much so I'll just move on to the next thing alrighty root so moving right along here I have my super tips 100 set and I did have a 20 set or 25 set before I bought this 100 set but I gave them to my nephew but they are still in my house somewhere I just don't know where they are so yeah this is my 100 set some are missing because um, I think only one one broke I broke the top because I put the top on with this end instead of the correct end and it broke the nib off and I was like has this ever happened to anyone else in history other than me I don't know but here are my lovely super tips they're my favorite water based marker not that I know very many but I just really love these so yeah I always like to play around with those here are my Ohuhu markers and I forget which set I have but clearly it's a small set and then like three of these have gone in the trash because they ran out and I tried to refill it with alcohol because I watched a video on YouTube about that and it, it worked for like five seconds and then it just died and I threw it away. But it's really cool because it comes in this little case and they actually sit on my desk so the case comes in handy. And here I have my... These say touch five, but then they say like touch three and touch new. I don't know. It's just like a mix of stuff. I don't know what. I just ordered it on Amazon. Yeah, they all say touch three, I think. Yeah, so I'm not sure why that is. And I had to throw a couple of these away too because they dried out. Because I've, I've had these for going on two years, I think. If not two years already, I'm not really sure. But yeah, that's basically all of the markers that I own. Okay, so here is my swatch book, and I really like the cover. I'm not a pink person, but the cover drew me because, you know, it has gold foil and unicorns on it. And um, this is my swatch book, so basically I just have all of my, well not all, but most of my pencils, except my Prismas, um, swatched out in my paints. So here are my Neo Color 2s, then I have my Ganzai Tambi's Star Watercolor set which you know they look so amazing nothing really shines like those so I have my Black Widow Scorpions, Cobras, the regular Black Widow swatched out I have the skin tone swatched out and yes I drew little spiders don't ask me <laughs> it fit the theme that's why I did it and I have my Polychromo swatched out and it's not in a perfect line because I did this without a ruler and I just sat down and did it one night I didn't even know I was going to swatch them out because I had refused to do so for such a long time and then I was just like I don't know the poly co polychromos colors like I know Prisma colors so I was like let me just swatch them out so I'll be able to know what they all look like and then here I have swatched my Arteza gouache and it's 60 of them so it goes on for quite <laughs> quite a few pages as you can see here are my Arteza 72 set of colored pencils swatched out and here are all of my stickles swatched out and I thought I would never swatch my stickles out but apparently I sat down and did it one day like look look at how gorgeous they all are oh my goodness I just recently got a couple like basically all these down here I just bought so I think that's it oh no my ink tint so I did have my ink tint swatched out but I had to re-swatch them simply because you know I bought more colors so that is where I stand with my ink tints now and I'm really happy that I got the greens, blues, purples and the browns that I really wanted so yeah that's the end of my swatch book other than back here which is hard to believe because I never write down combinations but I do have some color combinations back here just if memory happens to fail me sometimes but mostly it's ones that I figured out and I don't want to forget because I don't use them that often like I don't use the artichoke one that often or dry oranges one that often so 
the ones that I feel like I can't commit to memory or I find cool ones that I don't want to forget, I'll write them down. But I am not a color combo writer downer. <laughs> I usually just go with the flow and, you know, it is what it is. So I have some written down. So I started backwards simply because that way I can go on for as much as I want before I have to interfere with the front of the book. So that is my swatch book. Here I have some stencils that I have forgotten about. I do not use these, but I really wanted some stencils. And I think I got these at the Walmart. And there are some really cool shapes. Like, I'll do it this way so you can see. And I probably will never have the patience to sit and do polka dots or this thing. I don't know. But the bigger ones, I really bought it for this trellis looking one. And the honeycomb and the triangle one because I thought they were really cool. So, yeah, I don't even use these. As you can see, I didn't ever open it <laughs> beyond me just having it. So, and it shows what the shapes are right here. So, hopefully I'll remember these again because they, they're in my desk drawer. And I seriously am the type of person, if something is out of my sight, is out of my mind. So, because they're not out, I don't think of them. But I really should use them here eventually. Okay, so next I have some Strathmore Tone Tan Paper. So I don't often buy PDFs, but when I do, I print them out on this Tone Tan Paper. And I have to cut it to size to fit my printer because this is a bit bigger than 8.5 by 11. This is 9 by 12. So I do have to cut it a bit. But I really like this paper because it has tooth and colors pop like it's nobody's business on tone tan paper. Don't know why because I thought that the brown would drown colors out. But it really does not. It makes them so vibrant and I really love tone tan paper. And I was supposed to buy a backup book because this is my second book of this, I think, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is not my second book. This is still my first book. I wanted to buy a second book and I did not pay attention to the size of this 5.5 by 8.5. So I bought the tiny one and I've never used it but one day I really want to get back into drawing because I love drawing as a kid. So hopefully you know this can be a future sketchbook. I don't know or if I want to print a tiny PDF. <laughs> we shall see but I do own this for when I want to make extra copies of a coloring page or if I want to print PDFs. Okay so here are my chalk pastels and they are chalk pastels not soft pastels and here's my super big paper clip because I use this to shave off the dust because I do not trust myself with an exacto knife or any kind of knife so I use a paper clip and um, I got these from five below and I like the color range that they have um even though I want to buy the mungyo I think it's called the mungyo ones because they're in my cart on Amazon because they have more greens and stuff in that set but this set suffices for right now and I, I ripped the top by accident <laughs> that's why it looks kind of busted don't laugh but yeah these are the pastels that I own at the moment okay so we are going to move on to I guess the wet medium stage of my supplies so here I have my Karen Dash Neo Color 2's and I have the 30 set and I would like the larger set but I'm not completely sold on if I should get it or not because Neo Color 2 are still quite a learning process for me and yeah I want to get comfortable first before I want to invest in a larger set so that's getting on my nerves okay so here we have those next I have my Apple Barrel acrylic paint and these are all matte meaning they're not satin meaning they're dry looking meaning you can go over them with pencil still and I have you know a good range of colors here I really want to get some metallics because I don't have any metallic acrylic paint but yeah that's this set and it also doubles for me when I do nail art sometimes so I really like to have my paints that's originally what I bought this black for it was to do my nail art with but then, you know, I started to incorporate it in painting, painting, and painting backgrounds and whatnot in my color book pages. So, this it has been a good thing for me to own. 
um, move that over. That's going to get on my nerves. <laughs> so here are my Ganzai Tanby Starry Watercolors. And I simply love these. The colors are so shimmery and shiny. It's nothing else like them. Next I have a set of Windsor Newton Cotman. Whoops. Oh my gosh, y'all. If I would have broke my nail, I would have cried just now. Um... <laughs> I have this set and it comes with a cute little brush. It did chip my nail though, but I'll live um, for right now. <laughs> I really like this brush. It's really cool. I don't even use these colors. The reason I bought this was because back when I first started to color, I watched Coloring with Elena and she had these. She has the big set, I think, and she just made it look so beautiful and that I needed them. And so this was a set I could afford. And I thought that, you know, I had the colors that I wanted in here. And it's cute and small, so I decided to get this one. It's my gross palette thing. <laughs> um, I have washed this thing out a lot, and it still has some color remnants in it, but it's okay. I still love it. I don't care. <laughs> here are my 60 set of gouache. Now, this was purchased by me. And um, I really wanted gouache because Francis had gouache and I kept hearing talk about gouache and I was like, what is gouache? I want some because sometimes I don't want to do, well, I never want to do a pencil background. And so I was like, oh, gouache will come in handy. Plus just, you know, just to use it in your pictures. And so I have the 60 set. They still live in their boxes and their trays because I'm not going to take them out. And it fits right on my desk and I... Oh my gosh, I just knocked over my pins. <laughs> it fits on my desk right where I have my I have these in this little shot glass and I knocked them out of it. Oh my gosh, Becky. I have to pick that up. I was trying to slide my gouache back to where it belongs on my desk. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Anyway, we will move on. <laughs> I'll pick that up here in a mo. So here I have my Arteza 36 set of watercolors. These are half pans and I totally forgot that I had this y'all. I forgot I owned this because ever since I did the review I stuck them in my desk drawer and they have been forgotten. So here's me like playing around with it. I really like that um, marble that I did and my little earth and my lemon. It's fat and funny looking I know but here's the swatch card. So I think these are really good watercolor paints. Now I am not a watercolorist at all. I have really no experience in it. I don't do it that often. But you know when I want to be able to watercolor I'll have a set. And it does come with a brush if I'm not mistaken. Yeah it does. It comes with its own little water brush. And you can actually add more pans in here the way it's made down here. You can put more pans so you can add to it. But I haven't because, again, I'm not versed in watercolor. <laughs> um, I hope to be, you know, start that. But I really enjoy just my coloring right now. So that's what I try to concentrate on for the most part. But I will try to start making myself learn some watercolor here. And I did that for a review. So I actually received those for a review. And here are the cheapest, chalkiest watercolors I have ever seen in my life. I actually ordered these on Amazon and they were like six dollars and I bought these when I first started to color because I thought that they would look good like the Arteza watercolors. I thought all watercolor was the same. Boy was I wrong. So technically this is like a little cheap kids watercolor set but I keep it because I guess I don't know sentimental reasons I bought it when I first started coloring and they're not all that bad but you know if I ever want to color a chalkboard in a book I'll use this paint and it'll have the chalkboard texture for sure I can tell you that <laughs> but that's where this brush came from it came with this um, paint set but yeah I just keep it you know you never know so it's still around and then here's my little cup that I put my pencil shavings in and I'm only showing that because it's just right here on my desk and I saw it and I was like oh let me just include that so anyway let me move on to the next things that I would like to show you Okay, so I'm back. I have cleaned up the three pins. It sounded like so many more fell, but it was only like three pins that fell on the floor. I'm back with some randomness, and that is Jazzy in the background making all the dog noises for your ambiance. <laughs> I'm back with some randomness. Here is my little clipboard thing that I got from the dollar store that I use to color on sometimes, and washi tapes. 
these are all the washi tapes that I own and I keep them in this freezer bag so that I can keep them together and hopefully you know I won't ever get anything to spill on them because I'm a klutz and I'm pretty sure I would so they live happily in this bag right here okay so since I was showing everything that I have my eraser actually came in this cute little bag and I just discovered it had a brush when I bought it I forgot it had this brush I don't even use a brush to dust off dustings from my color book page I use my hand and I know that's bad because you can smear stuff but I don't care so here are the different erasers and my little bag open so you get a lot like look how many erasers you get you get the medium sized ones the really skinny ones and then the regular sized ones so you know I don't think I'll run out anytime soon and then I have these from my Derwent eraser so I have plenty of erasers <laughs> I shan't run out anytime soon. This is why I call this the random part because I'm showing random things now. Um, next I have my glitter gel pens and my stickles and then we will be done. I don't have like tons and tons of supplies but I'm totally okay with that because I'm happy with what I have. And I have been coloring for almost three years now as an adult so I think that I've done quite well as far as my supplies because I like to know that I can use everything that I have and I don't feel overwhelmed with having so much stuff and right now I feel like I'm at a pretty good place so here are my glitter gel pens by Color Technic and I really like these um, and my favorite is this like bronze one and this kind of like brown one I really like those and I broke the <laughs> I broke the clip on the black by accident so it's so loosey goosey in here but yeah I keep them in this plastic because I do have somewhere else that I house my glitter gel pens and y'all will see that in a second but I keep them separate for some reason okay so this is where I house <laughs> my glitter gel pens and my stickles so I keep them in this box because it's not super organized <laughs> But it's organized and I know where things are. I've, I think I have like a couple of Poscas. It's like you find Poscas everywhere. I have a couple here. And then I have um, a Uniball Signo Gold and a Silver. And then these are just all of my gel pens. All of these gel pens came from, there we go, came from Five Below in sets. And then I do have a 12 set, this Moogs brand that I ordered from Amazon. But other than that, all these come from Five Below. Like, I don't spend a ton of money on gel pens because y'all know sometimes it's hit or miss. They'll have ink, they won't have ink, you know. And I really like to use gel pens. I know some people don't like glitter and stuff, but... Personally, I like it. Why am I keeping this? It is nothing in this pen. I'm going to test it out after this video to see if there's anything in there. But um, yeah, I do like my glitter gel pens and I also have some metallic ones in here as well. So I have both metallic and glitter. If I could find a metallic, they actually look different. Oh, and I do have neon too. So I have neon, glitter gel pens, metallic gel pens. Here's a metallic one I can tell by like the barrel and stuff. And then these are all of my stickles. So I will actually pull them out so that you can see. I know I showed you in my swatch book. But because I love stickles and every time I use stickles, I give a big thank you out in the universe to Jen Reading with Pugs because she turned me on to stickles and I'm super happy to know of them in my life right now. <laughs> So, whoopsies, they are rolling everywhere. So, if you do not own stickles, they are a glitter glue as they are marketed. But to me, it's not a glue, but I'm sure it could glue something if you wanted it to glue something. I just don't call it that. So, the quintessential color or non-color, should I say, to own would be diamonds. So, one of my diamonds, this one, was my very first one that I've had for almost three years now, y'all. <laughs> it's just running out. And it did not ever dry up or anything. And then I just was lucky to order two more diamond um, from the website. Because that's all they had. Because I was trying to order five. Because <laughs> I love this so much. Because it's transparent. So anything that you use it over the color of your pencil, marker, or whatever. It still will come through. And it will just be a transparent glitter. And I freaking love diamond. They are my favorite. And if I could have a hundred, I would order a hundred. 
So another good color to have that are kind of transparent is Unicorn. I think this is a newer, newer one. And then this is Crystal. So Crystal has kind of like a blue tint to it, like a blue undertone. And then Unicorn is kind of pink a little bit. Um, you probably cannot tell in my crop lighting. But yeah, that's how Unicorn looks. So here is Black Diamond. I really like Black Diamond. It's really pretty. Um, this one is... What is this? This is Glisten. This is another one that's a good one to have that's kind of transparent. That is Jazzy deciding to play with his dog toy. I'm so sorry, y'all. If you don't know, Jazzy is my dog. So here is Sea Glass. And I have two Sea Glasses. And I think I ordered these. <laughs> I don't know why I ordered two of them. Because, you know, I usually don't have duplicates except Diamond. And I did that by accident. <laughs> Here's Christmas Red. And this is a really pretty red to have. I have cool mint this one's a really pretty color and I wish this was a nail polish because I will wear that all the time <laughs> this one sorry <laughs> this one is grapefruit and it's a, like a pinky orange grapefruit color obviously this one is goldenrod it's a gold color then I also have sunflower which is a newer one that I've just bought that's a gold color one um, this one is, what is this, champagne, and this actually kind of has black in it, if you can see, so it's a really pretty color, like, I just got copper, I really like copper, I just used that on a page, and I have rose gold, this is a newer acquisition as well, and rose gold is really pretty, I can't wait to use this one, I have silver, which is silver, <laughs> Holly is a really cool one. So if you don't have Holly, it just has red and green flecks in it. So it's a really good color to use for Christmas pictures. And I really like this one. This is a pink one. It's still transparent, but it has a tint of pink in it. And this one is called Hibiscus. I guess like the flower, but it's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad that he decided to sit here and make that noise <laughs> right at this precise moment in time. So here is Palm Leaf, which is a really good color, um, like a green. This is Mermaid Tail. This is a newer Stickles color, and I really like Mermaid Tail because it's purpley, and I'm all for that purple life. This is Enchanted, and Enchanted is kind of darker, but all of these are transparent still. Um... Except Holly, I don't think Holly, like Holly is, once you put that on there, that's, that's it. So, here is Lavender. This is a newer one that I just bought, because I didn't have a lot of purples, so I decided to get some purples. This is Waterfall, and if you don't know about Waterfall, I don't know, is that dye? I don't know. Anyway, Waterfall is a really pretty color to put over water, just like this one is too. They, not palm leaf, cool mint. Um, whoops, they they look really nice over water. Sea glass does too, but I don't know. It's just something about waterfall. It's so pretty when you put it uh, on top of water. This one is not water, like actual water, water that you've colored in your picture. Like if you colored the lake or waterfall and you put that stickles over top of it. Don't have me out here telling y'all I tried to tell you to put water and stickles together because that's not what I meant. Um, <laughs> Here is pink taffeta. I really don't use this one, but, you know, it's a nice one. And then here is, um, what is this? I'm trying to read through the camera, but it's blurry. Sea foam. Sea foam is really cool, too. I don't use this very much either, but I see stickles. I buy stickles. I'm a simple person. I do not own all of the colors, but, you know, I'm happy with the ones that I ordered. I tried to be smooth. It did not work. I tried to, like, swoop them all. Yeah, I'm not the smoothest person. <laughs> Any hoozles, last but not least, I have my glossy accents. Now, I blame V and Amberly because they kept using it on their pictures. And I was like, what are glossy accents? Like, I must have some. So, I purchased this little one. And it's comparable to a stickles bottle. Like, it's the same company, Ranger. It's the exact same bottle. Now, they do have a huge, huge bottle of this. I mean, it's like probably eight or 16 ounces or something like that on Amazon and it comes with like the nozzle thing and it's basically just to refill this one and if I ever run out of this which I'm sure I will at some point in time I definitely will look into getting the bigger one but for now this suffices because you don't need to use a lot and it basically is just clear it goes on stuff transparent and it just gives it a 3d effect and a super shiny effect so it's really cool to use on pictures for certain objects because it really makes them pop 
and it does have a bit of a smell and I wish I knew that before I bought it it's not too far off from nail polish but it's not that strong as nail polish but me being a person who personally likes the smell of nail polish <laughs> it doesn't bother me but this does have a smell I said all that just to say it's a bit of an odor with it I don't know if it's just mine if you have one and you have the same thing that'll be great to confirm that to know that it's all normal because I don't know but it's it's not too bad and once it dries you don't smell it on your paper or anything like that so that's a good tidbit for you to know and that is pretty much all of my coloring supplies the only thing I left off is probably a can of fixative that I don't use anymore and like I have a pack of a million of those pens that are purple and silver that are attached to my swatch book because you know that's my favorite color but those are pretty much all of my coloring supplies and again like I said I decided to do this video because my old one was deleted and by me of course and um yeah I think this was a little fun thing for me to just go over everything that I have because clearly I forgot about those artisanal watercolors <laughs> I feel so bad about that but yeah that those are all of my coloring supplies and this was a really fun video to make and um you know I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in my next video